Hello guys, have you ever wondered if it is possible to get some notification if some database query is longer than some milliseconds or a second? And I found a snippet of code, this, and I've tested it, and it comes from Laravel guidelines by Proton Media, and there are quite a few good pieces of advice inside of those guidelines, so I will link those in the description below. I don't fully agree with all of those, but the guidelines depend on the team and on projects, so it works for Proton Media, and I guess you could learn from that. Now, back to the snippet. You can listen to DB queries with query executed event and then calculate the time of the query execution. In my demo project, I implemented something like this. In app service provider, in boot method, I also added if app is not in production, I listen for the event, but then inside you can do whatever with that event. This is your imagination. Like log the information in Laravel log with info, for example, and you get event SQL as a part of that event. And also there are event bindings. So those also may be useful. Then also you could send an email if you're brave and you don't think it would spam you because if every query that takes longer than 0.1 of a second would send email, that would be pretty dangerous. But in this case, I send a notification to admin with the information. Or you could notify your external bug snack or flare or whatever bug tracking tool you use. And let's see how it works, all three of them. So I have a demo project with one really long query because there's a lot of data in the database. And last time I reloaded, it took 1.94 seconds with Laravel debug bar. And let's refresh it once again and see what happens. The query itself doesn't matter that much, but I will show you in the controller we have query with scope, where has, where has again, with count, then some ordering, then some more filtering. So a lot of things happening, transforming it into a big query. Now we refresh and what happens then? This is the result in four seconds because it also sends some emails. And here's the email in my mail trap inbox. So I get long query, 2000 milliseconds, which is 2.2 seconds. And then the query itself and those question marks, if you need the actual values, those are in event bindings that I've shown you a minute ago. Also, it is logged in Laravel log. So we can open it up, Laravel log some errors previously from my testing and there we go we have local info with the same text with the same query with question marks that you can also pass as bindings and then bug snag for those who haven't used bug snag or similar tools it's just a tool for logging all the errors from your application and then conveniently inform someone group errors together and perform a lot of analysis. A good choice if you want to analyze the query. So for example, I have a long running query now, which will show me the details and even where that comes from. But I've tested it a bit earlier with running it a few more times. And here you see the number two, which means that for one user, this event happened a few times. So Bugsnug would help you to get it all together. If you have a lot of those slow queries, you can log them together or by group or something to perform a deeper analysis. So as I said, it's your choice what you do inside of that. The main thing is that you can listen to slow queries with these three lines of code. What do you think about this method? Or have you used something different, some other tactics, or maybe some tool to log slow queries and group them together? Share in the comments below. And if you want to know how to fix those slower queries, one of my courses on Teachable is called Better Eloquent Performance. So with practical examples, I'm showing how to improve, refactor, and make queries faster with Eloquent and Query Builder in Laravel. So you can check that out. The link will be in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.